What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and click that tap bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So as usual my people, you know, we have some things I'm gonna share with you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna share, them say a partially burnt body was found in a St. Andrew, one place named Smokyville. See? The body of a man was found in Smokyville, St. Andrew on Sunday morning. The body, which up to publication time was still unidentified, was partially burnt, the police said. It was reported that around 11 a.m., residents stumbled upon the partially decomposed body and summoned the police. On arrival, the body was seen lying face down along a dirt track. The body was observed to be partially burnt. The scene was processed and the body removed. Jaja. Ja. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, my people. And we are going over in a Queens, New York, you know, where some stab up go on, some people drop out, and it is said they are Jamaicans. Seen? So, make we get in it. A Jamaican family of four, including two children ages 11 and 12, were STABBED to death in their far Rockaway Queens home early Sunday morning by a relative who was SHOT and KILL by responding police officers. Courtney Garden, the 38 year old nephew of 61 year old Oxon who was injured in the incident was SHOT and him drop out by the police after they respond to a 119 call. He was shot after slashing one policeman and stabbing another. Police reports are that one of the responding officers managed to pull his firearm and shot Garden who was leaving the house with a bag when he attacked officers as they stopped him for questioning. Reports further indicate that other officers who respond to the scene were unable to enter the home as fire had been set to a couch in the living room. The fire department responded and put out the blaze and entering the home, police found the 11-year-old girl and the 12-year-old boy stabbed to death also stab and kill was a 44 year old woman and a man in his 30s none of them had up to press time been officially identified waxon was taken to hospital garden had previously faced domestic violence charges in the bronx the new york daily news reported that his sister told the newspaper that he was taken in to the far rockaway home by his aunt after he had become less home you don't know what that mean reports reaching our news team are that police had been called to the home on a number of occasions due to disturbances there jaja this is sad my people you know what i mean even too little youth lose them life it's when i say this is sad so i don't know if this person here i suffer from some mental health issue or what because i can't see somebody in them right mind really do this to them family you know what i mean this is very sad and disturbing it's when i say so let me know what you guys think in the comment section like and subscribe people